Well, this is a huge honor for us here at The Issue Is. We have one of the most powerful men in the world on our set. Moon Hee Song is the Speaker of the Assembly in South Korea. He is the second highest ranking man in all of South Korea, and he is here in Los Angeles as part of his American tour. Mr. Speaker, welcome to The Issue Is. Um, so you have been in America this week. You met with House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, your American counterpart. You met with Leader Kevin McCarthy. Uh, you let, w met with some of the members of the State Department. What was your message for them? And what was their message for you? Well, there was exactly one message that I wanted to deliver as I met with the leaders of Congress and the uh, State Department. 그 어느 때보다도 한미 동맹이 and that is that we really need a strong unwavering rock US alliance than ever before. 한 치의 오차도 없이 and uh, the part of the message was only when we go together every step of the way can we really achieve success in the second summit between the United States and North Korea. 우리 대한민국 조야도 uh, I know there are differences in perception, not only in Korea between the ruling and the opposition parties, but also in the US. We know that there is a lot of, of different views. And I think, however, that uh, there was one united front in regards to, to the importance of the ROC US alliance and the US South Korean relationship. And I think that was a bipartisan view of all the uh, leaders we met and all the leaders that have come with me. And I think that is really a good outcome of our visit. Nancy Palau 의장을 비롯한 일부는 As I met with uh, Madame Nancy Pelosi, uh, the Speaker of the House, and other figures of uh, the U.S. Congress and the government, um, I understood that there was a level of skepticism in regards to uh, the leader, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, and in regards to the second summit that will be coming up in February. And they thought that there would not be a very good outcome of the second meeting but we really wanted to them to understand that uh, the second meeting is of great importance to the Korean people and it really will determine the fate of our country so that's how important it is and and we really try to explain our position about that and sh um, I think that they understood where we were coming from and they did say that they were somewhat hopeful now about the summit. So I think that was a really great outcome of our meetings. So if I'm understanding you correctly, you're saying there's bipartisan agreement that the relationship between Korea and America is important, but there wasn't bipartisan agreement on whether this summit would be successful. Is that correct? Mm. Well, at the beginning, yes, there were different views in regards to uh, their expectations of the second summit. But after uh, our uh, deep uh, dialogue, I think that we've sort of tried to amend that gap and they're closer now to uh, viewing it more positively than before. So you, you said that this summit is so important, it's essential essentially to the survival of your country. Do you trust President Trump to be in a room with Kim Jong-un? Uh, I fully understand, I fully agree that um, he is capable of uh, leading the summit meeting and because he has a good understanding of the situation and I think he really can make the summit a success. Well, basically, there is a strong uh, distrust in regards to uh, Kim Jong-un's regime and especially in regards to his words, they, people do not, really, um, are, do not really believe in what he says. And even I cannot say that I trust him 100%. Um, however, we must understand that he's um, in a situation where he has to feed his people and um, he's re uh, the regime is actually quite desperate. And I think he is in a situation where he has to choose whether he's going to stick by his nuclear weapons or whether he's going to revive uh, his economy, the economy so that his people can live. And that's really the view that we have in Korea. We see that he's in a really desperate situation. And that's what we really wanted to, um, uh, for the, our counterparts to understand. You said that you, you trust that President Trump is capable 
to make this summit a success. What does a successful summit look like? Trump the real goals of the summit uh, between North Korea and the United States is really uh, to achieve uh, the um, permanent peace on the Korean Peninsula and the de complete denuclearization of North Korea. And we call this the Korean Peninsula peace process. And this is the goal that we share as South Koreans with uh, the United States. And we believe that the summit will be another step forward in achieving this ultimate goal. And um, if we can resolve this, the problems on the peninsula, we can show North Korean leader Kim Jong-un that there is a bright future waiting for North Korea once the uh, nuclear weapons are abandoned. And I believe that the summit will result in substantial um, outcome in terms of achieving denuclearization. And there already has been deeds that have been made by North Korea. It has already dismantled uh, the Punggye-ri and the Dongchang-ni missile test sites. And um, there is also a promise was made that if co uh, corresponding measures are taken by the United States, then North Korea will uh, dismantle the Yongbyon facilities, which account for about 80% of its nuclear capability. So if there is a promise in regards to that, and I think that would be a great achievement in its own. And there have already been letters exchanged between the leaders. So, so I think that we have um, very good grounds to have high expectations. Does a bright future for North Korea mean one Korea? Or does that mean two separate countries? <laughs> The two are actually um, the same, really, because um, achieving unification on the Korean Peninsula, that is our ultimate goal and our ultimate aspiration. And But um, having in, a, in North Korea with an improved economy, that is just another step towards achieving our ultimate goal. And having North Korea become a normal state, a normal country of the international society to increase um, exchange with them to cooperate so that they can um, develop economically, that we really help us to achieve the ultimate goal of unification. Of course, that would also be um, in tandem with our efforts with uh, the United States because we will always be together as we make the decisions going forward. Why would the Kim family want there to be unification? Because doesn't unification mean that they suddenly don't have power anymore? Uh, um, until now, uh, President Trump and the international society have um, employed a policy of maximum pressure against North Korea. And um, that has put North Korea in a position where it has to choose between um, maintaining its nuclear capability or uh, developing its economy for its people. Otherwise, the survival of the regime itself is going to be at risk. And that is why we rather than tr um, trying to trust what he's, he's saying or his words, we try to, to understand the situation he is in, the desperate situation. And I believe that the venue of the second meeting uh, between our, the leaders of the United States and North Korea is excellent. It's going to be held in Hanoi, Vietnam. And um, I'm paying great attention to that because um, Vietnam used to be an enemy of the United States in the past. And at the time, um, it, uh, that resulted in a detrimental um, it was detrimental to the U.S. interests. Mm -hmm. But after uh, Vietnam became a friend of the U.S. and they developed its economy, they really helped to enhance the uh, national interest of the United States. So when uh, um, Chairman Kim goes to Vietnam, he can see that they can maintain the socialist regime while having a good relation with the United States and develop their economy. So I think that's going to be a very good inspiration to Chairman Kim, which is why we have have good um, expectations of the summit. Has President Trump made the situation with South Korea better? Has President Trump improved U.S.-South Korean relations? Well, in regards to Mr. Trump's role in enhancing uh, our relations between uh, the United States and Korea, we'll have to see. We'll have to wait and see. Um, however, um, because, of course, um, 
there are U.S. national interests that he must consider. So we'll have to wait and see. However, in regard to the ROC U.S. alliance, we Koreans place so much greater value than you can ever imagine because there is this sense of great appreciation toward the United States because um, the, uh, the U.S. Army, the U.S. soldiers, they came to Korea during the Korean War and they fought uh, side by side with us and we actually visited the Korean War Veterans Memorial in Washington and we, as we lay our flowers and pay tribute, uh, we read the words that were inscribed in stone about how our nation honors those heroes who went to a country they have never heard of and fought for people they've never met. And we were so moved by that and we were so awash with emotions. And even now, it, the U.S. is helping us to achieve our dreams because it is taking the lead in the summit uh, in trying to uh, establish permanent peace on the Korean Peninsula. So that's also very precious for us. And so going forward, we believe um, we believe that the ROC US alliance it should continuously be strengthened even after we have good relations with North Korea. And I think we got our message across yeah. and the, uh, the leaders in the Congress and the government, they understood our position. And I think that really has, showed, has great positive implications for the future. Are you going to the summit? Is the Korean president going to the summit? <laughs> Well, I would not be participating in the summit, of course, but I do really want to be a part of it. As for our president, Moon Jae-in, I'm sure that if there is an invitation, he would gladly be there. But I don't think that the process is, has progressed uh, that far. Got it. Um, meanwhile, you're here in Southern California. Hopefully you're enjoying our weather and our food. Uh, this, we have more Koreans that live in Los Angeles than live anywhere else in the country. What is your message to all the Koreans and Korean Americans that live here in Southern California? Uh, well, for uh, the Korean Americans and the Korean community here in LA, I just like to say that uh, they are the bond that really connects uh, South Korea and the US. Mm -hmm. And especially as we value our relationship with the United States, they really actually are the core um, axis of our relations with the US. And with the United States contribution, we were able to uh, develop the country uh, since um, the Korean War and today we have become the country we are because we have had that assistance from the United States and we do not forget that and um, now that we have become a, a one of the 10th largest economies of the world um, we can now really say that we can help uh, what the United States want to uh, do in, in achievement of its goals and of course our um, ultimate goals would be to have increased exchange with North Korea but also to have a strong relationship between North Korea, South Korea and the United States so that we can really act as a, 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 a coordinator of uh, stability and peace in Northeast Asia and I'd like to say that uh, let us all work together for those goals and that day will come. Um, as, as we wrap things up, is there anything else you want to add? Anything else I didn't ask about you want to talk about? And so going forward, uh, the United States and South Korea, we, can, we must get together and really work together so that we can um, make North Korea a normal member of the international society. And that will really work for the benefit of, of, of all the countries involved. And it will help uh, the United States to play a balancing role as an agent in the security and peace in Northeast Asia. Well, you know, one of the, the biggest things in Southern California right now in our music world is K-pop. Mm. Everybody loves K-pop. So um, to, to end, we like to play music on this song. Do you have a favorite K-pop band? Then you can find any song that I like. Well, what do you what do you like? I like all Well, of course, I like all the Korean K-pop bands and especially BTS. But more than me, my granddaughter really loves them. Well, here's here's a little BTS oh. for you. Oh, BTS is the best.
Do you like this? Do you have a yeah. dance move? Folks, yes, she doesn't mind your name. Well, Kim도 조금 추시나요? 춤. Well, thank you very much. Uh, that's that's the dance move. Uh, thank thank you very much for the time, sir. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. A little uh, BTS to wrap things up. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching this special edition of the Issue Is Moon Hyesung.